Good day, everyone. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware there is a risk in the future trading. Uh, right now, we're just wrapping up for today. It's 3.32 uh, p.m. Eastern Time. And um, this is the second day the market moving beautifully. And uh, we were done hitting all targets, all time frame by 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock Eastern Time. Uh, one of the things I like, which uh, most of uh, our traders are using, they are, it is the three minutes. Uh, let me show you how simple it was on the three minutes for the future market. Uh, we had one losing trade today on the NASDAQ and then one trade and third trade. It doesn't matter how much the amount, it could be 1,000, could be 2,000, could be 3,000. But what is nice about it is uh, not too many trades in and out of the market. This is where a uh, lot of risk. So nice, easy, uh, not too many trades. This is very important. And then you're hitting a very good uh, targets. Uh, this is also the three minutes. I'm just going to cover the three minutes. I cannot cover everything. Everything hit the target. Uh, also, this one here, we have one uh, one losing trade, and then we have uh, one winning trade and one winning trade, and it was over. This is something what I was uh, covering about um, uh, that um, if we notice, after we close that, uh, that uh, trade, there is not much going on, and we can see is it just a straight line, and there is not much in the trading uh, based on the three minutes. And is this the same story uh, on uh, the YM, the three minutes, had uh, one losing trade and a couple of winning trades, and then it hit. Uh, so all of them on and on. Uh, the, uh, my favorite time in, uh, on the DAX is one minute. ES is good, the two, uh, 288, but I like the three minutes on the ES. I like the e, uh, three minutes on the NASDAQ. It's been superb uh, with the, the way the NASDAQ moved. It hit uh, pretty good on the three minutes. So all of them, all the, uh, 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 the, the charts hit targets. Some of them made more than the other is irrelevant. We didn't want it to just reload and reload and restart the charts. So this is a very, very, very good day, uh, like uh, yesterday. And uh, it was very pleasant to see every single chart with targets. Uh, for the other system we have, also did an amazing job. Uh, on the ES, we just now, not long time ago, we got a new signal. We had a lot on the uh, ES. But if you notice, we still have, uh, on the YM, we had an entry at uh, 23,973 as an entry, and the target was 23,681, uh, and I hit 325, uh, 329 ticks in one single entry. Uh, the NASDAQ, we had a sell, and uh, the entry was uh, 6,671, and the target was 6,641 and it hit 89 ticks on the last signals only. And then uh, we have the CL. The CL, uh, we had a, a buy entry at 65.58. The target was 66.08, uh, and this one hit 32 ticks. A 30-year treasury bond just to generate a new signal, and uh, there is only nine ticks on it. A 6E just generated a new signal. On the Russell, we have a sell order on the Russell and uh, then it was uh, 537, and uh, the target was 1523, and uh, we nailed 180, 161 ticks on the last signal. On the DAX, for the DAX traders, we have a sell at uh, uh, 886, target 808, and it hit the target, and the target was based on one contract, one trade. All this market analyzer is based on one contract and one entry. So there is not two contracts or three. It's based on one minute, one contract, and 190 ticks. On the uh, Forex, also it's based on one minute, and now uh, it's based on 10,000. You can see on the market analyzer is a mini account based on 10,000. So the total here is 71 pips. This is not bad for the Forex, actually, uh, on this uh, one minute analyzer. Uh, it is a 
very affordable to hedge the market all around uh, on a mini account. And that it is uh, very pleasant to trade and uh, you're not taking that much risk, especially if you have a, a, a mini account. And then um, you can put a little bit on each one of those. So in case if like, let's say the Japanese didn't make it today, or the uh, euro dollar did not make it, or on the less signal did not make it, you still have enough B uh, to cover it. So hedging uh, a mini account of future on a basic uh, currency, it is uh, actually an idea also. And for the guy who has the right amount of money hedge in the future, it is one of brilliant idea actually, if somebody have the right amount of money and put one lot on each target, and once he hit a certain ticks, he should be close. So, on and all, it was a beautiful week, uh, beautiful runs yesterday and today. And right now we are on the 780 ticks, uh, 700. This is a total different system than the other auto trade. Uh, this is really, really, uh, I was not expecting Friday uh, to be uh, that good, uh, but uh, always the market surprises us. So we, I look forward to see Monday, what uh, is hiding for us after two beautiful uh, days running, usually sometimes we can get uh, bumped into chop on Monday, especially after two beautiful running days. So I'm really looking forward to see uh, if this market done with the chopping or we're going to continue with the volatility for next week. It is very important to see how this market is going to uh, react. Uh, next week, uh, because it's been a little bit difficult for the last three weeks, four weeks, and uh, now we can see the market start taking directions and not getting stuck in those channels. So we wish you really the best weekend. Uh, I'm sure a lot of traders are very happy for this weekend, and uh, we look forward to see what will happen. And God bless you all, and uh, see you next week.